Good day, grade 10 students. We'll start now with the new chapter, which is entitled Exponential and Logarithmic Functions. The first lesson in this chapter is the one-to-one -one function. Now, before we head to proper discussion of one-to-one -one function, let's review first what we mean by a function. A relation is a function if every x corresponds with only one y. We all know that a function is a relation, but not all function, not all relation is a function. Going back to your grade 8 lesson, when we say function, it's a special type of relation wherein the x must correspond with only one y. Now, in this discussion, we all know that there are three ways to identify if a given relation is a function or not. The first one is by identifying the domain and range using ordered pairs. Now, I have here first, um, I have here examples of ordered pairs and also example uh, of each function and not a function. Let's start first with um, the first example. Now, in the first example, we have here 2, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 3, 0, 4, negative 9. So, how can we um, determine if a function is, if a relation is a function using ordered pairs? We just identify class D, domain. Remember that in a function, the rule here is no repetition of domain, which means um, if domain, if one domain is being repeated, then meaning to say that is not a function, rather it's just a relation. Now, in my first example, in identifying um, domain, we all know domain um, is the first number in the ordered pair. Now, here in the function, we have here domain, which are, uh, which is 2, negative 1, 3, 4, obviously, no domain um, is being repeated, so meaning to say this is a function. With the second example, uh, this is not a function. Why? Looking at the given ordered pairs, we have here 5, 0, 6, 1, 6, negative 2, then 5, negative 1. So obviously, this is not a function because we have here two domains that be that is being repeated. Um, obviously, 5 na ulit, um, then 6 is um, being repeated here. So, this is not a function. This is just a relation. So, this is the first way, which is identifying domain. Again, the rule is no repetition of domain. Now, the second method of identifying if a given relation is a function is through mapping diagram. I have here two examples again of a function and not a function. The first diagram is an example of a function. Take note that the definition of a function, the x must have only one y. So here in the first diagram, this is an example of a function because as you can see, for every x, there is just only one y. Um, looking at the first, we have here x sub 1 corresponds with only y sub 1, x sub 2 corresponds with um, y sub 2, then x sub 3 corresponds with y sub 3. So this one is um, a function. Now the second is not, an, not a function because as you can see, x sub 1 has two values of y, which is y sub 1 and y sub 2, which violates the definition of a function that if uh, that in every x there must be only one y so the second diagram is not a function the last method class of identifying is when the given s graph so um, that is known as vertical line test now the rule in vertical line test the graph must intersect the graph only once so in the first graph, looking at the graph of a function, tinan nyo, anywhere class, if I'm going to put anywhere um, the vertical line, it will just intersect the graph only once. 
So the first graph is an example of a function. On the other hand, this second graph is not a function, obviously, because if I'm going to put um, vertical line test here, the graph will intersect the vertical line test twice, and that, again, violates the rule in vertical line test that the graph must intersect um, the vertical line test, the vertical line, only uh, once. And these are the three methods to identify if a given relation is a function or not. Let's go now to the proper discussion, which is one-to-one -one function. Now, a one-to-one -one function is a type of a function wherein if um, any two different inputs in the domain correspond to two different outputs in the range. That is, if x sub 1 and x sub 2 are two different inputs of a function f, then f, f of x sub 1 must not equal to f of x sub 2. So in other words, class, from the title itself, one-to-one -one function, meaning to say, the x must correspond with 1y. Or in other words, class, all values of x must only have one values, one value of why? I am going to discuss here three methods of identifying if a given function is one-to-one -one function. The first is mapping diagram. Now the rule here, for every x in the domain, there should only one image in y. Now it's pretty um, easy to identify if a given diagram is one-to-one -one because there should be only one um, arrow in one x example looking at the first circle by the way first circle here are your domain and second circle inputs are the range so looking at the diagram as you can see negative 2 corresponds with 1 0 corresponds with 2 and 2 corresponds with 3 so if this one is an example of 1 to 1 because Tignan nyo, lahat ng x corresponds only with 1y, okay? Each x has a unique um, y. So, this is a one-to-one -one function. Now, let's have this second example. The domain are 1, 2, and 3, and the range are 5 and 6. Now, this is not one-to-one -one because looking at the given um, diagram, 1 is to 5 at the same time, 2 is to 5. This is not an example of 1 to 1 because 2 x's share with only 1 y. Let's have the third. Now, the third is actually not an example of a function. This is just a relation because it matter of fact, matter of fact last, it violates the definition of a function that for every x there must be only one y so automatically class if one is not a function if a diagram is not a function so automatically class it's not a one-to-one -one function now the second method class is using the horizontal line test now in horizontal line test class the graph the rule here is if every um, horizontal line intersects the graph of a function f and at, mo at most one point, then f is a one-to-one -one function. In other words, class, for you to determine if a given the graph is one-to-one, -one, the graph must intersect the horizontal line only once. Now, I have here a graph of f of x equals x squared. Now, f of x equals x squared is not an example of one-to-one -one using horizontal line test because if I'm going to put here the horizontal line obviously it intersects the horizontal line twice if I'm going to put here the another um, other horizontal line still twice pa rin. then if I'm going to put here the imaginary horizontal line test still twice so f of x or this one is not an example of a one-to-one -one function because it violates um, the rule of horizontal line test. 
Now let me have um, the graph of f of x equals x cubed. Now this is an example of one-to-one -one function because anywhere you put class the imaginary horizontal line test still the graph intersects the, the horizontal line only once. If I'm going to put here once, here only once, here once. So that's how you identify class if a given graph is a one-to-one -one function. The horizontal line test, the horizontal line must intersect the graph only once. Lastly, you can identify if a given function is one-to-one -one given the function itself. Now the rule here is a function whose degree is odd is a one-to-one -one function, meaning to say class the highest degree of a polynomial of the given function is odd. Automatically class, that is a one-to-one -one function. So let's go through with these examples and let's identify if this is one-to-one -one or not. f of x equals 2 minus x squared. Obviously, the degree of this is second degree and that's even. So this one is not one-to-one -one function, which makes sense. Because if I'm going to graph this, the graph would be like this. We can apply here the horizontal line. And given this graph, it will intersect the imaginary horizontal line twice. So this one is not one-to-one -one function. Any parabola class is not one-to-one -one function. Let's have the second example. f of x equals x cubed plus 1. Here, the degree is 3, and that's odd. So we can say, using this rule, this is a one-to-one -one function, which also makes sense, because if we're going to graph this, the graph would be like this. And if we're going to apply the horizontal line, horizontal line test, it will intersect the imaginary horizontal line only once. Anywhere we put the horizontal line, it will cross um, the line only once. Let's have the third. The third is f of x equals absolute value of x minus 5. Anybody who can recall the graph of absolute value? The graph of absolute value is like letter V. Okay, so if we're going to recall the definition um, of horizontal line test, it will intersect the graph only once. So given the graph of absolute value, any absolute value function is not one to one function because it violates um, the horizontal line test. Let's have the th um, last example. f of x equals 1 over x minus 2. This is an example of rational function. Looking at the rational function, the highest degree here is obviously 1 um, of x minus 2 and 1 is an odd so meaning to say this is a one-to-one -one function so to summarize up in diagram the rule here is for every x there must be only one image of y that's mapping diagram horizontal line the rule here is the imaginary horizontal line should cross the graph only once and last using the given function the rule here the degree of the function must be an odd so that's how you identify if a function is one-to-one -one or not